Hello everybody, my name is Ian James one and welcome to another Space Engineers Let's Play video. This is episode 4, I believe, and I fixed my FPS issue. I have no idea what was happening, and it was really weird, and um, for the most part, it is fixed. By the way, um, I'm not sure about this, if like this came, if like I have an option to change it, but the platform symbol, like the actual color of the thing, is green, and I'm having some graphical issues like instead of being gray and whitish this is kind of red a little bit but um and when you go in here to weld that line on there it's blue instead of white I'm thinking that has to that's yeah I have a blue and red line when you hover over this I think that's part of my like I think that's like my a graphical drivers issue for DirectX um, I think it may be because I changed my graphics card. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a problem with my graphical drivers. But it's not much of a big issue. Um, like I said, for the most part, the frame rate issues from last episode, last episode has been mostly fixed, and so you won't see any more lag. Last episode, we were building this mining ship because I c oh dampeners. Why do I keep turning dampeners off? It's weird. Anyways, last episode we were building this mining ship. I thought this would be enough, like a single one, a single small reactor would be enough. But now, looking back, I might need two. But I don't know. I'm just gonna finish welding this for now because I think this might be enough. There has been a couple of updates since I last played this game, and there's a bunch of cool stuff that I met. There's a bunch of cool stuff that I didn't um, completely check out, like um. Nah, it's G. I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> um, connectors, these things. Um, oh yeah, you have to. I haven't played this game in a while. Connectors, they're like, they work differently now. I won't explain it to you because, like I said, this series isn't gonna be like um, um, a tutorial-like series. If you like, basically, to tell you the truth, if you know what I mean? Connectors kind of work like um, docking ports in Kerbal Space Program. If you know what Kerbal Space Program is. If you don't know Kerbal Space Program, it's, a, it's an awesome game. Anyways, back back to awesomeness. Uh, let's go and finish welding this. Yeah, that's finished welding. We're going to need construction components and computers. So, construction components and computers. Let's go to the assembler. Uh, construction components, computers, um, production. They also changed this grid over here, and I'm not completely, I don't need a hundred of that. I think that's going to be enough. Construction components and computer, yeah, there you go. I think 20 is going to be enough. Let me just build up, oh yeah, I have to keep, I have to go in here. I'll just distribute these computers in here while that's going off into awesomeness. Welding. 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 Oh, this one also needs a large steel tube. Let me just go and make one large steel tube. Uh, there you go. Large steel tube. Let me just put this in my inventory. And continue welding. Construction components take a uh, take their beautiful little time on being built. I kind I find it kind of annoying, but you know construction components. I have no idea. Wait, why is it that large steel tube being built? Oh yeah, it's because I didn't get it. I was like wondering why um, the large steel tube wasn't being added. I built um, I signaled it for being for construction, but. I didn't actually put it in my inventory. So that all these are finished welding. This one can go full speed. All the way to 100%. Well, that previously white line over there, when you reach that line, it means it's operational. You don't have to weld further, but you can if you want to. Um but like I said, I'm not I'm not sure completely because there have been a couple of updates that I'm not so sure about. Um, I haven't learned everything from the updates. Another thing that um, 
I'm fine from the updates are uh, factions, and you can like create a faction, post peace, declare war, and stuff like that. That would be really cool in like um a multiplayer game server where you have like more than like a couple of people. Like you have like a lot of people playing on it, like 20 people or so, and then. You, what would be really awesome is that if you could have like um not creative mode exactly but yeah I guess creative mode and you could build like these huge ships with like guns all over them kind of like um a Star Wars battleship type stuff uh, I don't know how to explain it but that would be awesome suit energy slow I'm gonna recharge it there you go I'm thinking I'm changing colors. I don't know exactly, but I think my character changes colors every time I come in the game. Don't don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But um yeah. Let's go ahead and finish wielding this. All these things. Let's add all that. 100% welded. There you go. Um uh, there is only, uh, I'm going to need eight small steel tubes, so let me go ahead and make that. What is this refining, by the way? It's refining plut platinum. I thought it was plutonium for a second there. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, so let's put that in the assembler. We have a decent amount of everything for now, but in the future we might want to get everything out but uh, we needed small tool tubes yeah so if you're wondering how I can like automatically press make 10 and 100 if you press control and click something it makes 10 of it if you press shift and click something it makes a hundred of that um, just so you know we could do with more iron but that's gonna happen after the plut platinum is finished I keep thinking it's plutonium. I haven't played this game in like a couple of weeks and so my brain has been scattered across multiple games because that logic. So what we're going to need for this is we're going to need some uranium and I'm wondering how's the uranium, not thinking about that, the uranium, I have six uranium in here. I think I can just nick off just one unit. I don't think it'll kill me for that. Actually, no, let's not do that because we're gonna need thrusters on here anyways, so let's figure out the thruster situation and then put the uranium in. Let's put the other stuff that I have on in here so I have free inventory space. So, actually, no, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need uh, these two. Let me see if we can make thruster components. Uh, do we have the ability to make thruster? Yeah, there you go. So we have the ability to make thruster components. What do they use, by the way? Because I think they use pl platinum. Yeah, they do use platinum. They use a small amount, but an amount that we're going to need to get more of if we want to get serious with building a ship. We're going to have to get more in the future, but and that's the future, not now. We got a little more platinum. So I think we're okay for now. And let me go into the building menu and get small thruster there you go did I already have small thrusters on my I don't know I forgot anyways um turning all sp like all members of space I need large steel tubes let me just build like a couple of them um, I don't know I thought they would need small steel tubes, but they don't need small steel tubes. Uh, production. Let's build like two of them. 20 of them, I mean. No, I didn't pick them up. I have to go in inventory and then pick them up. There you go. You also need st construction components and other stuff that I'm not bothering to care about at this, mo at this exact moment in time. Okay, so there. That. And then that. Okay, so we're gonna have this like single gap over here. I don't know what's go that's gonna be. Maybe more of uh, these gyroscopes because the last time I played this game, 
uh, I built a ship similar to this and three gyroscopes was not enough. I don't think there's no amount of gyroscopes that will be perfectly enough because the ship is always going to rattle when you turn that thing on, but having more gyroscopes just makes the rattling, rattling less of an issue. If that makes sense, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it does make it less of an issue, but it doesn't completely eliminate the problem. So I have, so I have no thruster damage on. So you'll see like a a thruster being put in here, but there's not not going to be any thruster damage happening. So I don't have to worry about that for now. Maybe if I make another series, um, I might turn it on and have to worry about it. But right now, I'm just getting used to the game, enjoying myself and other stuff. Not that. Let's just dump the materials that we have in here. Pretty much all we have on us is the steel plates, so... Let me just... You, over there in the corner, do you have... Stuff? You have stuff. Wait, do you have stuff? I have stuff now. And then, let me come back here. Let's get some stuff. We need one construction component and... One... Uh, thruster component, so... Since I made too many, let's just make a uh, production, uh, 10 construction components and 10 thruster components. Now construction components are going to take their lovely time, so let's go ahead and weld as much as we can on these bits while that's going on. So, this, so what I'm... In the future, what I'm thinking right now is that this is going to be my space station, right? But I'm not going to have it here. I'm going to move it somewhere else. I'm going to move it on a different asteroid because I kind of... I mean, I have no problem with leaving it here, but I want to build my own space station. So I might take this space station apart. So I might take this platform, as it sits there, as it says there, apart and put it somewhere else. Maybe on that um donut-shaped uh, asteroid over there. Maybe like in the center of the donut, but I'm not sure how big it is, if it's big enough for my purposes and stuff like that. And, yeah. I am going to have to relocate my base of operations um, at some point, but I think it's okay. It's, it's okay for now. I mean, I don't have nearly enough resources and um, stuff in order to put it there. I'm going to need like a bunch more ships and a bunch more and a lot more preparation in order to move all this stuff. But I have everything that I need now. Not everything, but I got what I need. And then let's just dump it all in here before we actually start welding. So then I could just go around and weld stuff and finish. There you go. It's operational. That's operational. That's operational. And then that's operational. I'm just gonna weld it until it's op until it's like um working right now and then I'll just see what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna see what's gonna happen, but I'm just gonna finish welding it later. I think that red line means it's gonna work and then No, this one. There you go. I have most of the directions. So yeah, that's not going to work <laughs> because I blocked that off. Uh, smart me. Um, let's just remove this reactor and place it somewhere else. Actually, no, because I'm seeing two lines, red and blue, there might be another purpose to the line, but I'm not completely sure anymore. So, um, where's the small reactor? Reactor, small reactor, there you go. And we're gonna have to turn this. That's uh, wrong. Close enough. And then let's weld this. We got all the uh, parts from the reactor we just grinded. We're just changing its orientation. I'm gonna leave this spot open in case we're gonna need a second reactor, but I don't think we're gonna need one. Hmm. La -da, 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 da da welding and stuff. And then, let's see if this works. Uh, no, we're gonna need uranium for that. Let me just, like, nick, uh, 
one unit. Uh, there you go, one unit. And then, sorry for that idleness, by the way. My phone was going, oh no, V. Uh, my phone was going off and acting like a nut chub. So let's put that in here. And uh, maybe it's going to work now. I'm not sure. Uh, v to hold. Now I can, yeah, everything's running now. So if I press P, I can go up and I can go down. No thruster damage. It looks kind of funny making it go through that gyroscope, but yeah, it's working for the most part. Let me see how much it rattles. Oh no, I have to go to a, no, that's wrong button. Wrong button. Um. <laughs> ah, I'm coughing. Weird coughs. Uh, there you go. G. That was the right thing. Sorry. Um. Now let's. Rattles a whole lot. It primarily is going upwards. But I guess we can solve that problem later right now these asteroids that have spawned in my world have really like tight and narrow um caverns that are not very maneuverable let me just turn up so i don't have to, so i'm not bothered by it the, the um like these asteroids they do have like cave systems in there i don't know what you would call it cavern ducts whatever uh but i'm gonna call it cave systems because it seems like the most appropriate thing Although I don't know if it's the correct term for it. But yeah, these, these asteroids do have case systems. It's just that they're so nimble and tiny and narrow and have really sharp turns that I just need to be have a ship that's as compact as possible so it can actually navigate through everything. So I'm going to weld all this. And since I have a lot of things to weld I'll get you I'll catch you back when I'm done welding all right I'm back I finished welding everything um, everything seems to be milking for the working for the most part but I want to check something real quick let me turn everything on again and then it says I have fuel time for 23 days you see I, I six years okay that's a bit overpowered um, <laughs> but um yeah, for the most part, one reactor is doing the job for us. Like, six years idly, and then if I'm just, like, doing everything, it's going to be, like, hours. Like, tons of hours, so... There really is no need for a second reactor. I was right. So... Yeah, let's go to... Uh... I'm going to cover this up, just because I can just to make it look all nice not like completely cover it up but you know protect it because I because I don't want everything to break off I'm going to I think I'm gonna need like one space out of this actually no I changed my mind I'm not gonna cover this up destroy that and destroy all that there you go I don't think I need to cover any of this up I think it's going to be uh, my orientation is so confusing. Ah. Okay, there you go. For the most part, I don't think I need to cover any of this. There's just going to be, like, this weird random gap in here. But for the most part, I th think I'm all right. Um, let me just add some thrusters over here. Um, in the opposite orientation. And, uh... I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can make it work like I can't. It's going to have to go up there unless I do something like that. Um, not there! Here. Did I put one over there? I put one over there. Gimme. Um, and then I go to the thrusters and I put it there. And put it there. It is by far the ugliest thing anybody could have made in this game i'm not doubting anything but um tell you the truth i think it's just simply gonna work it it, it it's gonna work
Yeah, it, 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 it's it's gonna work. Actually, no, I have thrusters in that direction, don't I? Yeah, there. Uh, I just needed like retrograde and forward, don't I? So <laughs> I built these I built these things by mistake. Let me just destroy it and let me just call this um, an episode. All right, now with all those out of the way. Um, I've been seeing JMC1, and this has been uh, my Space Engineers Let's Play Episode 5, and I will see you guys next time.